Hi everyone, my name is Anu and in this video, I'm going to be talking about my D Shaw internship interview experience. So for those of you all who don't know what D Shaw is, D Shaw is a hedge fund company and basically it's a fintech company. It's been around for quite some time and it is really an old company and the biggest perk that people know about it is that it pays quite a lot. So that is true, even the internship stipend can range from 1.5 lakh to 2 lakh. And that really also depends on the kind of role that you are applying to. So we will be talking about what roles they offer, what is the application process, how to apply to the issue, what is the online test like, what is the interview process like, and what are some of the perks and benefits of the issue. So do watch this video till the end if you want to apply and prepare for DE Shop. And I hope this video is very useful to you. And that being said, let's get into the video. So just a little thing that I would like to say before we start the video is that if you are a returning viewer, if you haven't already, do subscribe to my channel. And if you are a new viewer, do subscribe to my channel as it would mean a lot to me and it would help me in creating more useful content for you guys. So that being said, now let's get into the video. Starting with the application process, how can you apply? So DSHO has a careers portal, so you can go ahead and check for any job opening that is relevant to you. And for that, what you can do is you can message someone for a referral. Once you have an opening, you will go ahead and apply to that particular job. And make sure you that you fill all the fields. So DE Shaw has a kind of a unique thing in their job application that where they ask you to list the achievements. So do make sure that you're listing your competitive programming achievements or if you have some really good ranks in entrance exams, then you can go ahead and mention that as well. So good ranks in JE, JW Main and JW Advanced will also help you. And if you don't have that, then you can show your open source contributions or you can show your competitive programming skills, but make sure that you have some achievements in your engineering uh, years as well. So maybe some achievements in your first year, second year. And I would just like to say one point here that don't think that any achievement is small. So if you're hesitant about putting any achievement out there and if you're thinking, oh, you know what, this is not relevant, don't ever think that, go ahead and add it because any achievement is more relevant and more important than having nothing at all. So don't keep it blank. Instead, go ahead and add something. So as for me, I got a message from the recruiter of Deisha on LinkedIn and I applied directly through the recruiter. And after I applied, I got a test link for HackerRank. So the show's first screening round is the HackerRank test. And the HackerRank test is 90 minutes long, and you have three questions there. And the test is quite tough. So your generic, if you're just doing coding week for week or any other platform, it might not work. So for this, you need to make sure that your competitive programming skills are good. So even if you are like able to solve all the questions in a lead practice, that also means that you will be able to clear the coding round of DE Shaw, but make sure that you are able to solve the hard questions with ease. So in this particular round, you have three questions and the questions range from a difficulty of medium hard to hard. So you won't find any easy question in this test and there will be three questions and the topics that are important for of the online test are DP and graphs. So these are the two topics that are very relevant and they also came up when I was in a, giving the test. And these are like the most frequently asked topics in DE Shaw's online coding test. So make sure that you're well versed with DP and graphs. So DP, again, I would like to make sure it's dynamic programming. So make sure that you are well versed with dynamic programming problems like knapsack, kind of knapsack-like problems, some over subset DP, and even bitmask DP as well. So make sure that you're well versed with DP. And in graphs, again, I would recommend that you can you will have to solve 
breadth for search, depth for search, text trust algorithm, and a ton of other topics as well. And I have already made a video on the kind of topics that you should be preparing for before an interview or an online test. So you can check that out as well. And in that, I have shared a comprehensive list of the kind of topics that you should be focusing on. So in respect to DESHA, again, focus on TP and GRASS primarily, as these are the most important topics. So what are the chances of you clearing an online coding test round in DESHA? So for my particular case, I had solved all the questions in about 20 to 25 minutes. Yes, even I know even that was surprising for me. And till now, I would say that that has been one of my best uh, performances in an online coding test. So I was able to solve all of the three questions in about 20 to 25 minutes. But to move on to the next round, you have to solve at least two and a half questions out of three questions as the competition is quite high. And if you even solve two questions, you might not be able to move on to the next round. So make sure that you are solving at least two and a half questions. And if you're able to solve all of the three questions, well, then that is perfect. And that will almost guarantee that you will get an interview call. And let's start with the interview call. So the first round is the screening round. And in the screening round, you'll be it will be 60 minutes long and it will be done on HackerRank code pair. So HackerRank has this code pair feature and in that only even the interview will happen and the coding will also happen there as well. So for this first screening round, what can you prepare? Well, there will be three to four DSA questions and it just depends on how many questions you are able to solve. So you should make sure that in the 60 minutes period, you are able to solve at least three DSA questions. And the DSA questions in this round, again, I would say that you should be comfortable with doing lead code mediums and lead code hard. And again, the topic, the important topics are binary search, dynamic programming and graph. So these are like the three topics that are mainly asked in DSA and make sure that you are comfortable with these topics. And if you are comfortable with these topics, then you will be easily able to nail this particular interview. And as for the questions that I got in this round, so in the first round, I got questions related to binary search. And then there were two questions that were related to dynamic programming. And with that, the first round concluded. And now we will be talking about what happened to the final two rounds. So once you're able to clear the screening round, which is 60 minutes long, you will move on to the in-depth technical rounds. Now, these in-depth technical rounds are actually quite long, so they can range from anywhere between 75 minutes to 90 minutes as well. So I had interviews that were one of them was 75 minutes and one of them was 90 minutes as well. And many other people that I know also had these long interview rounds. And in order to prepare for D show, one thing I would suggest is that you should be well versed with core subjects. So your core subjects are your operating systems, computer networks, database management systems, and object oriented programming. And you should be well versed as in you should know the questions in these particular topics, in these particular subjects in depth. So all of the questions, you'll have to know them in depth. So if you are just preparing one day before or two days before, that won't suffice. And you will have to go in depth questions. So they will ask you questions that are in detail. And even in operating systems, like they will ask you questions that are in depth, such as like synchronization and you have deadlocks so there will be in-depth questions on these so don't expect surface level questions like you will just read the definition and go that will not work you need to really understand the concept in and out now how do you prepare for these particular core subjects for that i have already shared a video on the free resources that i used to learn programming and in that i have also shared certain youtube videos and playlists that i followed in order to learn these core subjects. So do check that out to check that video out as well. And if you go through that video and the resources that I shared there, I don't think you will have any problem in clearing the coding rounds of DESHA as I did them too. So in this interview round, what you'll be asked is again, you will be asked about two to three DSA questions. But in these rounds, the focus will more be on the core subjects, right? 
so you will have about i would say 30 minutes of core subjects and they will ask you questions from all of the core subjects so make sure that you are prepared in all of them and you do not leave anything out so the second and third interviews are mainly based on your core subjects and your dsa questions as well so one thing i would like to say is that dsa questions are asked in all the rounds of the show so you won't find a single round where it is not asked and apart from doing your dsa and your core subject you should also know technical questions which is related to the coding language that you are doing so let's say if you're coding in c++ then you should know everything about c++ in depth so you should know everything about pointers how they work memory management and if you're coding in java then you should be well versed with synchronization multi-threading in java so in a way you can get an idea like what i'm trying to talk about is that if you're coding in any particular language let's say c++ java or python make sure that you know questions about that particular language in detail in depth so Disha will also check the kind of programming knowledge and how much do you know about your particular language and they will check how much in-depth knowledge you have about that language. So make sure you just don't know how to write but you also understand the language in and out. And this is a very important tip that I would like to share and this is something that I genuinely found very unique about Disha is that they will ask you questions in depth about your programming language as well and that being said so these two rounds were mainly focused on dsa core subjects and in-depth technical questions about your coding language so after one online coding test and two to three rounds of technical interviews what was the final verdict so as you can see from a snippet of this mail is that i got the internship at de shop and in DE show, basically you have two roles. So one is the front office role and the second is the back office role. And I got the front office role internship, so software development internship. And generally the front office interns and even full-time employees, they get paid more than the back office tech. And if you don't know what the front office and back office tech is, then just let me explain to you a little bit about the kind of role. So the front office tech, people actually build the products that will be used by the traders, by the customers. And the back office tech people, they will be working on basically systems. So they will be working on the systems and platforms that will run the first front office tech. So think of it as front office will build the products and back office will build products that will support the front office. And for the back office role, the internship stipend was 1 lakh. And for the front office role, the internship stipend was from 1.5 to 2 lakh rupees. And this is per month stipend. And apart from that, Dishaw had a ton of other perks as well. So for these two months period, you will get full company paid accommodation. So they will have a proper guest house and you will have accommodation for the entire duration of the internship and they will also pay for your to and fro ticket flights and apart from that they will also have regular snacks and like all the lunches free food and the office so literally all the amount that you get from this internship it's going to go straight to your bank account and you won't have to spend a single penny so that is one of the perks of the show and their primary office is in Hyderabad, but there are many new offices opening as well. So that being said, that is all of the perks of the show and even the compensation for full time is absolutely great. But make sure that the kind of role that you're getting aligns with your interests. So let's suppose if you get a back office check role and it doesn't really align with your interest. Make sure that you communicate that with your recruiter and you try to push for a front office role. And that being said, this was my entire internship interview experience for DE Shaw, but it's also very relevant for full time experience because they are very similar. So even if you are interviewing for a new grad role or for a fresher role, the interview experience is going to be very, very similar. So if you have an interview or if you are applying for DSHA, I hope you found this video helpful and it will help you in preparing 
the best and getting that offer from Deisha. And if you're still here with, with me, do like, share and subscribe to my channel and also share it with your friends or any other person that you might find will find it helpful. And that being said, keep learning and keep growing and I will see you next time.